Somewhere in Bikini Bottom is a fish with a secret he'll take to the grave. The tide's coming in! <laughs> this is Bikini Bottom Mysteries. Fun day at the beach? Don't be so sure, because riding the waves is one bizarre fish. <laughs> Enter Scooter, everyone's favorite lovable beach bum, with a thing for ripped pants. You still got it, dude. Most would say he's a charming fish. That was awesome. But there's something not quite right about Scooter. Exhibit A, his accent. Scooter is best known for his iconic surfer accent. Alfonso! But as soon as he throws on a suit and tie, the accent is gone. Save it for the big brainstorming meeting. And it's all business. So what are you, Scooter? A surfer? Alfonso! A businessman? We are perfectly positioned for our marketing to be number one across the business sector. Or maybe a big, fat liar. Come on, we gotta get out of here. But that's nothing compared to Exhibit B, the incident. Let's go back in time to what should have been a quaint and quiet Leif Erikson day. It's Leif Erikson day! Which quickly got out of hand when Scooter was buried in the sand and left at the mercy of the high tide. The tide's coming in! <laughs> we know what you're thinking. A lagoon underwater? Yeah, we read the comments and we'll get back to that. But back to Scooter. The poor, defenseless fish buried in the sand as the tide washed over him. Thanks for nothing, Bubble Buddy. Don't just stand there, dude! But that same day, several eyewitnesses saw an apparition that looked remarkably familiar. Reports even claim it spoke. Dude, he made me experience high tide! And oh. then it vanished. But that wasn't the last we'd see of Scooter, not by a long shot. Exhibit C, the undead. Even after this incident, Scooter has been seen all over town, blending in with the living fish. But if you watch closely, you'll see that there could be something paranormal happening. In this footage of SpongeBob tying up beachgoers, Scooter can be spotted three times, each time fishier than the last. First, we see him in the crowd eating ice cream. Then, only a few seconds later, he's suddenly way over here, all by himself. But still, a meager 1.27 seconds later, even after being tied up, he's seen back in the crowd, as if he'd been there all along. And wait. There's even more. I bury myself alive! What are the odds that when Mr. Krabs is buried the same way Scooter was, Scooter would be watching in the crowd? And then, mere seconds later, gone. Vanished right before our eyes. Maybe seeing another sea dweller buried the same way he was hit a little too close to home for this fish. Two accents. Alfonso! We are perfectly positioned for our marketing to be number one across the business sector. One tragic demise and a paranormal return. What does it all add up to? Don't you stand there, dude! Is this multi-accented fish really haunting Bikini Bottom? The truth is, we'll never know. But one thing's for sure, he's out there. And now, a Bikini Bottom bonus mystery. Goo Lagoon, the perfect place to swim, surf, or just lay on the beach. What a beautiful day. But how can there even be a lagoon underwater? Ah! Maybe Goo Lagoon's actually made of goo. Maybe it's some sort of strange magic. Or maybe, due to the dissolution of salt deposits, it has a much higher salinity than the surrounding seawater, causing it to have greater density. You said it, pal. File this one under P for pretty smart, huh? Have you seen something strange under the sea? Leave us a comment and tune in next time for more investigations that will blow your pores, strip your scales, and flip your fins. Like, subscribe, and remember, if the pineapple fits, live in it. We're getting to the bottom of Bikini Bottom, so be sure to come back for the next episode of Bikini Bottom Mysteries here on the Nickelodeon YouTube channel.